Hey guys, Nick Danver here. I'm sitting with Aaron from Upcountry Building Inspectors. Awesome, and I wanted to sit down and just kind of dive into his business a little bit more and understand, you know, maybe some pitfalls, some things that we should look at, or, you know, some different things that, you know, a homeowner could think about uh, when it comes to home inspection. It's part of the process uh, in real estate to uh, get a home inspection. It's a wise uh, in investment in your future purchase. So Aaron, we were just kind of chatting before, uh, before the camera came on and, you know, tell me, how did you get into inspections originally? Oh, that's a good question. So um, the former owner of the country, company Hugh Savage um, we were introduced through a mutual friend mm -hmm. I, I had moved back to Maine uh, mid 2000s and, and was you know kind of struggling with what I wanted to do mm -hmm. um, I was I was in a field that I, I enjoyed but um, was kind of looking to make a change so ended up falling into home inspections through this mutual friend I, I trained with a former owner and I just found it fascinating. You, right. you, you know, you're, you're trying to figure out what's going on with, with a house, but also you're meeting a bunch of different people and, and interesting people. And mm -hmm. so you kind of get the best of both worlds there. Um, it's very professionally gratifying to hopefully helping folks mm -hmm. um, sort of discover uh, sure. what's going on with this house and what they can do to maintain it, like you said, but, right. but also, you know, make sure we figure out is this something that's going to work for them right. to some degree? So, yeah. Sure. So, um, I know that you are certified or in a, uh, there, there's a certification out there. Is that correct? There, there, there's several different ones. Um, so, so the, the, there's no licensure regulation mm -hmm. to be a, a build, building inspector in the state of Maine. Um, myself and the inspectors that work in my country are all members of ASHI, the American mm -hmm. Society of Home Inspectors. Mm -hmm. So there's certain... Um, you know, I guess milestones that you need to, to achieve mm -hmm. um, before they consider you for full membership. Sure. So that's that's what we sort of stick to yeah. and uh, works well. So what should somebody look for in a home inspector? If the average person out there in the world, you know, say, oh, I need to hire a home inspector, what qualifications should they look for? What, what kind of questions should they be asking people? That's, that's a great question. It's something I probably should wrap my head around more. I, I think being certified is important, whether mm -hmm. it's with ASHI or uh, NACHI is another mm -hmm. certification out there or association. Mm -hmm. um, asking them what their background is. Sure. Um, have they been involved in the building trades uh, prior to or, or in conjunction with? And, and I guess that's part of it too. Do, do they offer services? Um, sure. Because maybe you know that could be a conflict of interest. So mm -hmm. um, we, we do not. We are simply there to, to tell you what's going on with this property. Sure. You know, what their experience is, mm -hmm. but, but also, um, you know, we work with a lot of different brokers sure. and we've established relationships with them. So they know our personalities sure. as, as you and I have worked together. Right. And, you, you know, hopefully you know what you're going to expect from me because right. not every inspector is going to work with every client. You, you sure. kind of need to know personalities. So that's really important. So when you come into a house, you do the exterior, mm -hmm. top to bottom, yep. and then you go inside, top to bottom. I do. And, you know, I guess, could you give me the five five highest things that you normally find when you do a building inspection? In the state of Maine, a lot of issues are water related, both mm -hmm. interior and exterior. So on the outside, obviously, leaks, w whether it's roof or flashing issues, mm -hmm. things like that. And then on the inside, it's water related, sure. um, moisture, excess humidity in the house. So, mm -hmm. so then that's more of basement crawl space mm -hmm. stuff that's going on. And, and so both can affect indoor air quality. Sure. Um, so are there five I, I guess three of them would be water water sure. water water and right. then some other things with regard to indoor air quality radon levels we mm -hmm. do a lot of testing for radon that's that's been i guess historically part part of a real pretty estate prevalent in maine yeah and, yeah and also you know the the, the real estate world it's they often it's included as part of the due diligence process right. then i guess heating systems um have they been properly maintained mm -hmm. a lot of the times there's there's issues with heating systems sure and i guess another one would be electrical we often find uh, electrical issues um hopefully fairly minor but sure. sometimes perhaps a little bit more yeah uh in the state we have an old housing stock mm -hmm. so uh, houses have been around for a while um, more things have been done over the years mm -hmm. so we we have to be particularly careful with older homes right. um, paying attention what's going on in them would you would you advise an inspection on a brand new build yes yeah yes unfortunately some of the crazier less than ideal inspections have been new construction I think it's money well spent yeah. a lot of the times we we don't find much we, we always find something sure but I guess whether how, how substantial is it yeah. is, is a question and 
so now back to um, pre-built and I, I, I always say to you know because uh, I do national trainings and what I always say to them is like I have some of the oldest architectural stock in the nation that I'm going to deal with so I have to see every home you know what, what, before I give a value on something you know so I can understand how the, the challenge is around you and having to go see every different property you know, you're mm -hmm. seeing things that were built in the 1800s and you're things that are seeing things that were built in 2021 something that I just learned septic systems within the shoreland zone mm -hmm. now have to be inspected have to be inspected upon transfer yep and it's the buyer's responsibility to make sure that happens yes so the seller doesn't have to have it inspected but you know you the, the buyer can choose not to inspect if they want but it's still their responsibility to inspect yep. the septic system are you finding that that is is common knowledge at this point or is that something that still needs to be educated for the general public oh i think more education would be helpful but but the brokers um at least the brokers we tend to work with mm -hmm. are, are certainly aware of that in their in their on it you know yeah. they're making sure that happens that's great yeah any other inspections that you would recommend people do um it, it's really i guess building dependent but certainly the, the building inspection and i would argue septic or sewer line inspection are, are super critical mm -hmm. radon testing it's right. easy and if if radon levels come back elevated it's easy to fix so radon's a naturally occurring gas it comes from the decay of uranium mm -hmm. that sounds kind of scary but uranium it's a naturally occurring element uh, it's everywhere mm -hmm. it's just different concentrations so if, if there's an area where there's you know a higher concentration of it um, around Sebago Lake there mm -hmm. tends to be sediments that have a lot you tend to have a higher prevalence of radon mm -hmm. um, both air and water um, but the, the exposure with both of them is inhalation it gives off bad stuff the alpha particles can be damaging to our lung tissue. So sure. the thought is radon is the number one cause of lung cancer behind, for non-smokers, you know, it's pretty important stuff. And it's so. easy to mitigate, right? Easy to fix, yeah. most of the time. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So when I when a broker calls or a client calls you up and says, hey, I'd like a general building inspection, a septic inspection, and a water test, yep. you're gonna just automatically say, well, we're gonna do the whole suite. So all the way through radon. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, radon's a separate test, mm -hmm. but um, you know we, we try to have that conversation with them that mm -hmm. you know, hey, we're at the property. Are mm -hmm. you interested? And in, in, here's some information you should know. You know, we're not trying to sell them on anything. We're sure. just trying to inform them right. that um, these are these are things we can do, and here's why they're important to mm -hmm. consider. And yeah. some some people absolutely want this done, and, and some people are comfortable not. So, yeah. you know, just like anything. Right. So, yeah. um, so what's the best way that people can get a hold of uh, you at Upcountry? Yep. Phone call or, or through our website, uchi.com. And the phone number is 883-9876. That's great. And we'll make sure that we include that in the uh, comments and also in the video for you. Yeah. Um, anything else that... Um, Anything else that, that the general public wouldn't know about inspections that you would like to get across? You know, we're not going to see everything as much as we want to. Sure. But we're there to perform a visual inspection. Mm -hmm. And hopefully w what is visual will provide us clues as to, you know, is there something that's substantial, significant mm -hmm. going on? Um, and we should be there to educate folks mm -hmm. on, on this house. Not, not only what's wrong with it, but how it works. Mm -hmm. But what's really important is putting things into context. Right. So when we do find issues, is, is on a scale of you know one to ten, is is this uh, closer to a non-issue or mm -hmm. is this a very significant issue? Potentially, I guess maybe a showstopper sure. for the sale. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think a good inspector hopefully will put it into context yeah. for the the buyer. Yeah. Um, there there shouldn't <clears throat> be uh, I, I guess drama. It should be you know these are just the facts. Here, here's what's going on. Well. Thanks so much for tuning in with us, guys. This is Aaron, Upcountry Building Inspections. Uh, I tell you, he's one of the best out there. So uh, give him a call, uh, reach out via email, or uh, give him a ring on the phone. And if you have any questions, reach out to us, 207-553-2400. Thanks so much.